you guys. How's everybody doing? Oh, that's not how I feel. Alright. Let me tell you a story about when I was young. There was no place I had in the world. Any place we would settle down, I would be ripped with no feet on the ground. The constant thing I had was a strong feeling towards people. It was healing. At the time it was misconstrued as hate, I tried, I found out it was compassion. Not too late. I tried to fight the world, but realized I was outnumbered. There was a feeling in my heart, that hunger, to help people who couldn't help themselves. But I didn't realize this right until I needed it. Now that the summer of my sophomore year, I had friends and family that covered me with their warm, with the warm blanket of love. It was serene. I was very dependent on this blanket, which I soon found out. I soon found out when she left without a trace. An important piece of fabric passed on. Unraveling at the seams, the confines of my security to the point where I had to the point where I was trying to hurt myself every night, leaving me breathless, alone and afraid. It was hard to find the method that once helped me reside in this world. I couldn't stand up to anything for anything, leaving me without defense. I was left to my enemies. They were sparing no expense. When hurting myself didn't feel good anymore, I needed something else to patch the void. The crutch I used was giving back to those I abused. Helping with nickels and dimes and maybe a few minutes of my time. Before I could, before I could breathe, senior year was here. It was the hardest in many ways, more than one. The void is back, stronger than ever. Coming and going whenever. Sometimes I feel like laying down and doing nothing. Not a single urge to do something. The only thing that gets me by is knowing that people rely on me. I don't particularly know where I'll end up. I don't really care. If I help others, I help myself. And to me, that's growing up. Uh. And the person I want to thank is my Nana. Sorry. Oh. <laughs>